Hello, my YouTube fans. Um, we're gonna do something a little different today. So many, I don't know if you could see, no, you can't, you can just see my face, okay. Um, so, if you saw my last video, it was about uh, using a new chess set that I got. Um, the uh, yellow and uh, the blue, yes, okay, the yellow and the blue set. Um, what I didn't tell you at the time, it's unfortunate. Uh, I buy I buy stuff from about three different companies, actually two of which are actually affiliated with each other anyway. Um, for the most part, these are these are great these are great companies and all. I mean, uh, I bought the Square Off chessboard from them. I bought uh, I purchased. Uh, most of my you know sets I, I have three like I said three or two three companies three companies that I buy stuff from so anyway um, as you know when the trouble started in Ukraine I wanted to uh, show my support by buying the chess sets of the colors of their flag <clears throat> and I did a video on that what I didn't tell you was that you know when I got the sets I got two actually and, and they actually sell them in half sets um, you buy one color and you buy another color to match it separately. Um, what I didn't tell you was that the first the first shipment came damaged, um, and I, I was quite perturbed by this because the company I deal with they're very nice. I mean I've had uh, issues, you know, and they send you replacements right away. And there's no there's no problem. I don't, I don't want I don't, I'm not going to say the names of the companies, but everybody knows there's like a handful of out there. So. So just to let to let your mind at ease, the com the company is, is very gracious in, in the way they help and everything. Nevertheless, um, I marked this one. Let me see if I can see that. Okay, yeah, I marked this one, um, and it's probably a sloppy job. I can see it on here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you could see the glue. Literally, literally, the ball on the top of the pawn was broken off. So I glued it. Um, it's a bit of a sloppy job because I can still see the glue. I don't know if it showed up on camera or not. But the main thing is also all of the blue pieces, all but three of each blue set, had loose weights. Okay. Um, it was quite discerning. And there was only one yellow one upon out of, out of all three. I got two and then and then to to like I said they're very gracious they wanted me to send it back but I told them I couldn't because I needed to set one of them at least to take the chess club on my chess club nights are Thursdays which was the intention of buying these sets um, so they were gracious enough to actually send me a whole nother set that is one of each color so I turned around and I pulled out all the ones that weren't loose and you know took out the ones that were loose out of the new set and and sort of swapped I still have two or three pieces in the in the newest you know the combination uh, that are loose and I got most of the loose ones here you know all, all of, I think they're all loose if I took the bag and I shook it you probably if I grab this and make sure that they don't roll it against each other ready okay, that's all the loose weights right on the inside so that, that, that was quite annoying. So you know I've done a refurbishing um, set, you know, a, a video before. Um, and I used, um, I used this felt. Yeah, you can see that on camera. And it's quite, it's quite, you can see the holes I cut. This is quite thick. It's, I guess you might consider it like a billiard table felt, maybe. You know, not sure, but it's definitely thicker than what's on the pieces. Well, the pieces that I refurbished, of course, the felt was really, really literally not not felt at all. It was uh, paper with a felt-like stuff on it. Um, the felt that's on these is, yeah, okay, you can see that, it is a bit thicker, and it is actually felt. Um, and here is a piece I took this is the one I took off yeah okay so I decided well 
it's probably the similar to similar to the uh, felt that you can get with the adhesive back from Walmart you know also they have it without the adhesive back and I think this might actually be a little thicker than that yeah so this is actually fine you know it's not real thick it's not as thick as the other billiard stuff that I had gotten from the last thing I did okay it's certainly not that thick okay so um work with two hands here just toss that over there but it's uh, actually a little thicker than what's on these pieces so it's kind of in between so in order to not make it different than other pieces I might try to salvage the, the so what I did was I, I, I um, used a knife just a regular pocket knife where's my pocket knife I used a pocket knife yeah, to uh, carefully try to as you can see some of it's still stuck let me see can you see that yeah so I was basically doing this to get some of the excess off but without showing you everything uh, um, as I'm doing it this is what I ended up with okay the felt okay with the glue in the middle a little rust maybe it looks like I might be able to salvage the pad so as to not make it a different color and different thickness as the rest of the set we'll see if it if worse comes to worse I'll, I'll do that now I got the um, I'm going to pause this in, in a few minutes to, to uh, so that I can point it down to my workstation here but as you know from the last time I got my my um, my leather cutters okay uh, this is the one yeah, I keep looking at the screen I know you see me turning my head this is the one that's the correct size if I need to cut the felt okay so I'll leave that one out the weight is steel that's the weight and it was just laying in there and you can see the dark spot uh, this is I don't know if you can see this let me see can I, can I get light in there I got a flashlight let me see if I can shine the light in there while I'm showing it to the camera you see the dark stuff in there this is this looks like a hard glue that they used and I think that's a mistake let me see if I can make sure you see it I don't know if you can actually I'm looking at the screen that's why my head is turned yeah it's it's not quite what I can see in the regular light but um, I'm, I'm seeing like a brown hard glue and I think that's the problem I think they're using the wrong glue see look even on my pinky I I, I just touched the inside of it and, it and it's it's kind of a corroded glue um, so I think they may be using the wrong glue uh, I think you should use some kind of flexible glue plus the, you know the temperature I've, I also noticed that when I took the set out and put it back um, some of the loose pieces stopped being so loose so I think it's a temperature change humidity change etc okay we, we uh, I was just using a napkin just to clean out some of the loose stuff <clears throat> so the the, the uh, I know that the the, the weight is steel because I have a magnet here a little disc magnet here and yes okay so they don't make the weights out of lead anymore they are steel all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a just a basic craft glue um, which dries flexible so that you know temperature change and, and different uh, different changes in the weather uh, what would happen is is that the glue would remain pliable like rubbery kind of not exactly rubber glue I mean it could use that too you can go ahead and use silicone glue and that would be a fantastic thing but not absolutely necessary I literally got this from the dollar store it's just tacky glue it's a basic uh, crafts glue it comes out looking like Elmer's glue but 
uh, it's a lot thicker and uh, Elmer's glue dries hard and this is non-toxic so it's good for, for, for things like chest pieces and stuff that kids might get a hold of um, um, which is why they stopped making the weights out of lead but um, this should do the trick it doesn't have to be mounted in there with with you know steel iron you know uh, holding it just has to be mounted in there so that it doesn't shake around and a flexible glue drying flexible is probably better than a very hard glue because a hard glue would change with t temperature change you take the pieces outside in the winter time and you know the glue can crack etc which is probably what happened here why the orange or I should say yellow pieces are not loose I don't know maybe they manufactured them uh, much later maybe maybe the blue pieces were laying around I don't know the other thing about the blue pieces is that they told me that the color they look like they've been through let me see if I can look at the screen you can see the scuffs and stuff on I don't know if you can on this camera but apparently the blue picks it up better you know more than any other color and they asked me if I wanted to try a different color. I'm like, well, the, the whole idea was the U Ukrainian flag. So the, the, I needed the royal blue and the, and the yellow. But uh, here, here, if you could see that one. Well, I don't know. I'm looking at the screen, but I'm from a distance away. So I don't know if I'm actually showing you the right thing. But it is, it is scuffy looking and whatnot. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is after this, after I do some of these weights... I'm going to try a buffer, like a you know, Dremel with a weapon buffing wheel on it and see if that helps. You know, I buff the plastic. Plastic supposedly can be buffed, so we'll, we'll see. And maybe, maybe even a little turtle wax, who knows? But, uh, but anyway, let's right now concentrate on the actual weight. And um, so to give you an idea on, on what I'm doing, I'll pause it now and I'll, I'll point the camera down to my hands where the, you know, I'm working on the piece. And we'll go from there. All right. So, hang on a second. I just want to pause it. I'm going to close the camera so you don't see me getting up. All righty. Here we go. So, actually, let's uh, let's get it even more okay all right so yeah let's really get you okay yeah all right so i'm just going to do this one finish this one piece in front of you as as far as, far as this video is concerned um i am not going to make the entire video I'm not going to do the entire set that needs to be refurbished but as, as you can see um, with the knife I have an exacto knife here too you know like these uh, I have these here too um, you know so I, I, I might have to resort to these but I haven't yet let me see let's try this one it's just out of curiosity see if that's any better yeah I, I don't care for using these especially for pulling the yeah, I guess that, that would probably be good for getting the excess off, but but especially for pulling the the pad off in one piece because um, it is a small blade, and and what I'm trying to do is actually get under the glue with the entire blade to try and evenly pull it off, which I did with this with this one. So, um, but as far as this part is concerned, it's also good for the leverage. And, and you know I might want to use the other blade so I got a different blade on this for example this is a very old pocket knife but it's a, it's a goodie it's an oldie but goodie okay so I got this one here so let me see it's you know it's pretty sharp I sharpen it maybe now and again I don't know let's try and see if it's any better and it's hard to tell I'm used to using the the pointy one um, you know I've had this knife for a very long time and um, I've gotten used to using the pointed end but anyways let's uh, let's not get dangerous let's close one of the blades off I'm gonna continue to use the pointy one 
<coughs> so I'm going to try and clean this up. I really need more light. I don't know why. I know it on the camera it looks fine, but I need more light. I think that's on bright. Let's try to bring this light a little closer. <coughs> Let's see if that helps me. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, I'm carefully, now this is not a lock blade, so I gotta be careful not to fold it up on my fingers. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of whittling away at the excess uh, felt that was glued to this. And the, and the glue that, that, that's on this is actually still soft. So. I'm wondering why they didn't just simply use the same glue, or maybe it is the self-adhesive uh, um, felt like Walmart sells in the art stores and stuff like that. The reason why I bought the one without the adhesive is two reasons, actually. One, they didn't have green, and two, it's much more expensive to buy the self-adhesive than it is to buy this. And this is actually better. Let me, I'm sorry, I say this, but I'm not showing you which, you know, than this. This is, you know, uh, 32 cents for a sheet. I bought an even dozen. So for 32 cents and some tacky glue, um, you know, you got yourself uh, the lesser, you know, cheaper version of, of, of refelting chess pieces. Um, when you really want the thick stuff, like I, like I showed you before, I don't have to reach for it, I showed it to you already. Um, you go with the thicker stuff, but uh, you know these are the cheap plastic pieces or semi-cheap anyway, because they are weighted, so they cost a little bit more with the weights in them. But again, you know, there is a disappointment when you buy something brand new. One expects to be a brand new product. They do sell things called imperfects where their 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 pieces don't match the standards of their company therefore they sell it at a discount sometimes half the price uh, which I purchased stuff like that from them before um, etc but I didn't buy imperfect sets I bought brand new returnable product but the way these are, I told them actually in an email, and like I said, they're very gracious. It's not like I'm, you know, it's not like uh, it's not like I had a hard time with them or anything. They, I, I, you know, they're very gracious. They, they, they gave me a new set and all that. But, but I outright told them. I said, you know, your website talks about how how your your standards, you know, uh, are such and such, and you sell in perfect sets because it doesn't meet your standards, etc. But I'm sorry, what you sent me was imperfect. So, you know, if it was one or two pieces that the weights are loose, that would be one thing. But this was literally almost the entire set, two of them. So, okay, so there it is. I think that's good enough. It's, it's, it's still kind of tacky. You can hear it in the microphone. But, um, but that's okay because because I'm going to be regluing the, the felt back on it anyway. So let's go ahead and um, this looks like the inside part. I'm going to be putting that in there like that. And um, hopefully I'll get it to raise up a little bit towards, you know, a little more level. And we're going to use this tacky glue. I'm going to turn it upside down a little bit, maybe even tap it. Get the glue down there because... Like I said, it's a lot thicker than Elmer's glue. It looks like Elmer's glue, but it's a lot thicker than Elmer's glue. And we're going to turn it over, this weight over and glue the, you know, put some glue on the inside part that looks like it's rusted. There we go. Can you see that on camera? Yes. Okay, we're just going to do that. Now, this is probably going to end up inside the, the hole there, but. I just want to do that because I want to be able to make it spit out, you know, make it uh, overflow on purpose. Okay, 
I'm gonna leave that there for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the inside of the inside of here. Away from the hole. I know you're not seeing what I'm doing, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna really load it in there. I'm not gonna be afraid to use it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. And perhaps I've been on the side more. Yeah. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm really filling it up there. You know, this way when it dries, it's going to have um, a cushion. Okay, so it is kind of refusing to go in now. I think I overdid it. There we go. Yeah, it seems like I, I got some air pressure. Uh, let me see if I can twist out that air pressure. There we go. So as you can see, I'm getting it all over my thumb and everything. It's non-toxic and it's water soluble. I think I might have to pull this back out because I didn't I didn't anticipate the air pressure thing. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I just burped it. Did you hear it? I just burped it. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and spread the glue that's excess all around here anyway because I'll just put the felt right back on that yeah that'll be a good idea it looks like there's actually enough of glue to actually put the felt back on I might even put a little extra to fill up the space to fill up the space the indentation that's in the middle of it let it fall Oh, not quite. Come on. There we go. And what's good about this tacky glue is that, you know, like Elmer's glue soaks through felt, especially thin felt like this. Um, the tacky glue is better for this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this um, felt pad and turn it over to the way it was. We're going to gently make sure it's even. Yeah, I think I did a little excess on the outside, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and press down on it a bit. And we're going to turn it over. And it looks like I got it all over. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. Turn it over, and uh, I'm going to... I'm going to walk away from the camera. I'm going to leave it running because I got glue all over my fingers. It's just a little water will take it off. I'll come back with a wet paper towel to clean the outside of the chest piece as well. We'll see how that came out. Make sure we don't stick to the napkin too much. Okay, good. And let's just go ahead and let me see. Are you seeing this in the camera? All right, let's go ahead and uh, wipe the outside of this piece to get the glue off the outer. This is just a wet paper towel. Like I said, this is a non-toxic, water-soluble um, um, glue, which dries flexible, and it's very strong actually. And I've tested it against, you know, like I've tested it. I've glued some metal to something I glued a washer to some wooden stick just to see if it would stick and it certainly did and of course it it came apart when I pulled on it but I pulled on it pretty hard and, and it came apart but the idea is that it's I'm using it as a filler more or less let me see is that even can I move it you could also move this if, if you don't wait too long oh yeah I'm, I'm still moving it a lot actually okay there might have been a little too much glue on there, but there it is. So I'm gonna put it on this plastic. Okay. 
So I was able to use, and I, I think I can see where, oh, there it is, where I can see the glue might have actually gone through because I put too much, but. Um, so that's the first test piece. And I've got quite a few to go. And I, yeah, you see where I left a, a wet ring of glue. So it's definitely a lot of glue there. So I got, you know, uh, uh, probably, what, 14 or 15 pieces to go because I think they're all loose. Maybe even 16 pieces because they're all loose. Mm -hmm. There's one right there. There's another queen because it comes with two queens. So, um, but I won't, uh, I won't do the all, oops, got that stuck in there. I won't do them all in front of you. I just want to do the one as, a, as my first test subject. So the next one I do, I'll probably do a little neater. This was my first practice run. And uh, maybe I'll make another video show you how they all came out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.